welcome back to the Geek Eccentric Video Kickstarter podcast. Um, my name is John, with you again. Uh, once again, I am sharing one of my back Kickstarter projects that I've received. Uh, in this case, this is Dice Rings. Uh, this is a size 10 dice ring in black. Um, it's actually type, so let's see if we can get a picture of that. Probably not, but basically the ring that allows you to spin. This one um, basically gives you your player type, so lawful, neutral, whatever. It's a lawful, neutral, chaotic, so basically that. Um, it's got a little arrow down here so that when you're wearing it um, on the right finger and you spin it, then you go to the arrows, and in this case I'm chaotic evil. Um, so it pretty cool dice ring. I spent $15 on this. They had a lot of things from uh, the 6-pip variety, so basically your standard die to uh, D4, D8, D20. Um, they also did other types of die, and then they had multiple die, so you could have like three six-sided die. Um, I honestly didn't need pipped die, as you know, I have my own sets, and really I didn't see the use of the ring. Um, as you can see, I do wear a wedding band, and so I wasn't going for this to be the size of my uh, ring finger. Instead, I ordered it with what they suggested was the standard size for most people, which is a size 10, and it fits on my pointer just fine. I don't wear this very often because really, in all honesty, it's an uncomfortable ring for me. Uh, but, you know, when I do and I can play with it, then it's kind of fun. Uh, not a big game player, so as a result of that, I can't see a reason why, outside of just the sheer joy of having it, I would need to know whether or not I'm, you know, lawful evil or chaotic neutral or, in this case, neutral good, which is where the, the arrows are. But uh, this was done by, it looks like Aaron, uh, out of Washington, D.C. Seems like they've got a website coming up. They don't have one yet. But I will, at least at the last update they've done, these guys don't update very often. Um, while if you were to go look at the, the Kickstarter page, there's a total of 49 updates. You know, most of those were before the, the campaign ended. And this is one of the first campaigns that I, I backed. And so they set the standard. Since then, they've updated on the possibility of... Um, um, not the possibility, but various rings that are still coming out, um, what to do if a ring isn't spinning right. Uh, mine wasn't, which they said was microparticles underneath. Uh, wash it with warm soapy water, let it dry, and it fixes it. And sure enough, you know, that's what I did, and it fixed it. it I'm assuming it spins properly now. Um, and then they have a store going up for anyone that would like to purchase some of these rings. And so you can pretty much get an entire player set um, from these guys and play your role-playing games, whatever you do with die. Personally, I collect them, so I'm not necessarily saying, hey, um, I want an entire set so that I can play Dungeons & Dragons or whatever role-playing games are out there, but rather I just like the look and feel of die. So in this case, this is the dice rings. Um, I did back it. I think of the back projects that I've received so far. This is probably my favorite, and it is absolutely the best one. So. There you go, Dice Rings by Aaron.